Danger Dolan. From insane escape attempts to fearless tightrope artists, we count 15 crazy, stupid, and awesome death defying stunts. Number 15. Bus on fire. Not since Otto from The Simpsons has someone driven a bus with such effortless style. Taking the wheel of a school bus, stuntman Steve Hudis jumped 15 motorcycles, flew through a giant fireball, and executed a safe landing, casually shattering a world record. The only victim was the bus's suspension. Number 14. Rinse Cycle. Perhaps inspired by that similar episode of Alex Mack, professional escape artist Rick Meisel somehow wrangled his way out of six pairs of handcuffs and two leg irons to escape a spinning washing machine. A few tumbles here, near death by drowning there, all in a day's work for a washing machine repairman. Number 13. Near Death Chariot Race. This is probably one of the closest calls in Hollywood stunt history. Stuntman Jerry Kenneth was standing in as Charleston Heston's double during the dramatic chariot race scene of film Ben-Hur. Following a collision with a small obstacle, Kenneth was flipped and thrown out of his chariot. Thinking quickly, he grabbed onto the hitching rail, narrowly avoiding being trampled to death. The near-fatal error was kept in the final film. No doubt cinema goers in 1959 would have gawked at the scene and said through a mouthful of popcorn, Gee whiz, Martha, that sure looks real. Number 12. Jumping the Grand Canyon. On May 20th, 1999, Robbie Knievel did what his father, Evil Knievel, never managed to do. He successfully jumped the Grand Canyon on a motorcycle. During the jump, Robbie managed a personal record of 228 feet. Unfortunately, he lost control of the bike during landing and broke his leg in the crash. Still, that's better than, you know, dying. Number 11. Crushed by a house. Buster Keaton was a popular comedian in the silent film era who often did insane, death-defying stunts to make audiences laugh. The most famous stunt occurred during a scene from the 1928 film Steamboat Bill Jr. To safely pull it off, Keaton had to stand completely still at a particular spot. Next, the facade of a three-story building toppled forward on top of him. Keaton emerged injury-free, owing his life to a single open window, which passed directly over him. The stunt was incredibly risky, as the prop house had significant weight behind it, and the window only offered a few inches of space around Keaton's body. The sequence became one of the most iconic scenes of his career. Number 10. The Chinese Water Torture Cell Harry Houdini is unquestionably history's most famous magician. He performed many death-defying tricks, but being handcuffed and placed upside down in a giant water-filled Chinese torture cell is one of his iconic ones. Modern interpretations of this illusion differ, but Houdini's consisted of three parts. First, his feet were shackled in stocks, then he was suspended mid-air by his ankles with a restraint brace, and finally, he was lowered onto a glass tank overflowing with water, and the restraint is locked to the ceiling of the cell. A curtain would then be drawn, and the assistants would look increasingly frantic as the seconds ticked past. Eventually, when all hope seemed lost, a damp Houdini would reappear, free from his bonds. Very impressive. When Houdini died, his brother was told to burn the custom-made tank used for this trick, but since family never do what you ask, it ended up being donated to a collector of Houdini artifacts. Number 9. Run over by a truck. To demonstrate the outrageous strength of his core, strongman Tom Owen allowed a truck packed with 20 children inside to sit atop his stomach for several minutes. The load weighed at an estimated 6,500 pounds, and Owen had to go straight to the emergency room after the stunt with several broken ribs and severe internal bleeding. Pretty hardcore. Number 8. Niagara Falls Tightrope Walk. Nick Wallinda is a Canadian daredevil who, in 2012, famously crossed a tightrope from the United States to Canada. The highly dangerous and unprecedented stunt took 40 minutes and a shit ton of concentration to complete. Since crossing the border without a passport has been illegal for 125 years, Walenda had to undertake a two-year legal battle, which involved both sides of the border, to gain the necessary approval. He crossed Niagara Falls on June 15, 2012 during a live ABC special, and due to a requirement, begrudgingly wore a safety harness for the first time in his life. Number 7. Goldeneye Dam Bungee Jump James Bond knows no fear, and neither do his stunt doubles. In the Bond classic Goldeneye, Pierce Brosnan as 007 had to jump from the top of the 220 meter Contra Dam all the way to the bottom. 
probably didn't even spill his martini either. This incredible feat was performed by British stuntman Wayne Michaels and set the then record for the world's highest bungee jump from a solid structure. Two birds, one stone. For any thrill chasers out there, you can do a spot of James Bond role-playing by jumping from the same dam. That's right. In Switzerland, risking your life is now a tourist attraction. Number 6. Elaine Robert, who's better known by fans and the media as the human spider, possibly because he has six extra legs hidden under his clothes, really loves climbing. He's a Frenchman who will climb pretty much anything and has no time for safety ropes. The only gear he bothers with are a pair of climbing shoes and a bit of chalk on his hands. Throughout Robert's illustrious career, he has hand climbed the Paris' Eiffel Tower, the Sears Tower in Chicago, the Petronas Twin Towers in Malaysia, Taipei 101 in Taiwan, and countless other man-made structures. Each year, he overcomes new adversities and rises to new heights. Ha! Ha ha ha! Heights. Since most of his climbs are illegal, Elaine has been arrested many times. But that doesn't discourage him. I mean, you can't really. You put him in jail and he'd probably just climb out. Number five. Rotterdam Building Slide. The beloved action star Jackie Chan is famous for doing all of his own stunts. And some of them are pretty damn dangerous. One of his most memorable flirtations with death was a free fall slide down the length of Rotterdam's Willemsworf building for the movie Who Am I? It's almost impossible to understand what went on in his mind since he's clearly insane for agreeing to this stunt. It involved a lengthy skid down the building's steeply pitched facade. Chan slipped down 21 stories of slanted glass and tumbled, coming terrifyingly close to the edge. Somehow, he managed to stop on a dime. Number 4. The Wing Walker. Omar Locklear was a famous stuntman renowned for walking across the wings of an aircraft while it was in mid-flight. The funny thing is, his career came about by complete accident. The brave pilot first performed his signature trick of walking out onto wings while attempting to repair a faulty engine. Their first stroll garnered the attention of filmmakers, gave him a brief but glorious career as a movie stuntman. Tragically, Lockler died in 1920 while performing this wing stunt. His plane caught fire and crash landed, killing him and his assistant. Although he managed it a few times, this death-defying stuntman couldn't cheat death forever. Number 3. Red Bull Space Jump In October 2012, Austrian skydiver Felix Baumgartner free fell from a helium balloon that had risen approximately 39 kilometers up into the stratosphere over New Mexico. The jump was a promotional effort by Red Bull, made headlines all over the world. Felix fell for an entire 10 minutes, shattering the sound barrier during his descent and breaking multiple world records. The highly dangerous stunt depended on the successful deployment of his parachute. If it had failed, he would have plummeted straight into the earth and probably come out the other side somewhere in China. Number 2. Man on Wire In 1974, a French madman, I mean tightrope walker, named Philip Petit astounded the world by walking between the twin towers of New York City's World Trade Center. For the unauthorized feat, Petit rigged a 450-pound cable and 26-foot-long, 55-pound balancing pole. He passed up and back eight times, delighting onlookers and pissing off police who were itching to arrest him. The charges for his illegal or highly dangerous stunt were dropped in exchange for him doing an additional performance for children at Central Park. The incident was the subject of the award-winning 2008 British documentary, Man on Wire. Number 1. Tightrope Walk Between Hot Air Balloons In case you aren't sick of tightrope walkers, here's one more tale of a person with little to no regard for their own life. In 2013, in the Yunnan province of China, a 40-year-old tightrope walker traveled mid-flight between two hot air balloons. The incredible stunt shattered the world record for quickest time crossing a high wire between two balloons. He managed to do it in 38.35 seconds, which is about how long it takes me to get out of bed. The acrobat had to traverse an 18 meter long, 5 centimeter wide steel beam between the balloons to break the record. He now finds walking across normal level roads pretty boring. That's it for this countdown. And have a good one!